CC fam. Thank you for rejoining me for Reset Wednesday. Yes, if you are not legit CC fam, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell next to it. Make it ding so you won't miss a thing. Okay, let's get started. The topic will be about transitions. And yes, with life, there are so many transitions that we have to embrace. So I want to talk to you all about that today. You know that feeling in your gut that you get and you're just tired of being sick and tired, as my mom says. But yes, it is time to transition on and not be complacent. There may be something deep rooted in you. And God wants to take you to the next place where you won't be stuck with that thing or, you know, you've learned the skill set. It's time for you to apply what you learned and put that into a skill set. You know, there are needs. People need you. Organizations need you. It is time to be greater. And that's the thing, to keep being greater. So know when it's time to train. Ever been to like a step show or something like that, but I was on a step team um, when I was a child growing up in church and in between each step there would be moves that we make or steps that we would do didn't have any words it really it wasn't really a dance but it wasn't a complete routine of a step that's called a trans on a step team that we would do a certain step to ease into the next step routine the full step routine and in life there will be times where God will have to move you or you have to step out on faith and you will have to go smoothly. You will have to go on and take those faith, make those faith moves and go to the next thing, go higher. And sometimes they feel like walking in the dark, but I wanna let you know it's okay. Transition, sometimes, you know, we feel more comfortable with what we're comfortable with our comfort zone and you can't grow if you don't transition on if you don't implement any type or sign of growth you can't keep going in life trying to do the same trick over and over and over and over it gets tired people are gonna you're gonna be predictable basically so i want you to embrace transitions in life and not be afraid to fail not be afraid to trust god to take heed and be obedient to his sign when it's time for you to transition transitions you might have to let your comfort zone of association go that could be loved ones friends family co-workers people it may not serve your purpose in your transition while you're moving on to the next thing and you're gliding on and you're making slow and steady steps you can't take everyone with you i mean you have a weight capacity to get on your jet so i want you to not be discouraged while you're in the midst of your transition and you have to let people go you have to stop talking to them as much or when y'all in conversation you don't indulge in gossip and you know you might have to work hours whatever your transition is know that in your grind season hopefully you'll have people that are understanding but yes in transition just know that people might come left and right come and go but take heed to those that stay, that love you through your transit. I want you all to remember is to be encouraged and move. When God says move, or when you feel led that it's time to transition into your new level, your new dimension, don't be scared to transition. It is necessary for growth in this thing we call life. Embrace it, take it on with stride, be obedient and be graceful and make those moves because we got great things to do in this thing called life i hope that encouraged you all today and yes yes embrace transitions and always remember that confidence is a lifestyle and don't you dare walk out the door without it i love you all so much and i'll talk to you next week all right bye